Some of you guys give a company your best eight hours. A company that will have your position filled within five days of you dying. They'll mourn you for a couple of days. They'll send out a company email. Yeah, he's dead, whatever. But then there'll be someone new in your position days later. You give that company your best eight hours. And then when you come home, you piss the remaining time down the drain. And by the way, I'm not telling you to go into a company and be a lazy worker. That's not what I'm saying. Because laziness affects other areas of your life. It's a disease. You can't desire to be this great entrepreneur and be a lazy worker. You can't be. So definitely go into a corporation and work hard. But what I'm saying here, and I want you to pay close attention, is you give the company that you're at right now, your best eight hours, and the time that you have outside of work for your own dreams, you piss that time down the drain. You go home and, oh, I need to relax. And by the way, we all do. I'm with you on that. Jobs can be physically and mentally draining. I'm with you. So relax. Do what you got to do for an hour or so. But if you have the audacity to want to go out there and live a remarkable life, to be this big time boss, to live life on your own terms, to retire your parents, if you have the audacity to do all of those things, then what do you do with your time after work? What do you do with that time? A poor effort will lead to a poor outcome. The part-time mentality will lead to part-time results. I'm trying to maximize every opportunity that I sink my teeth into. My work is sacred to me. And I want you to start looking at your work from a very different perspective. Is it important to you? Are you interested in making this work or are you committed to making this work? Because your actions will reflect your desire. If your actions are Hi. then I could look at you and say, you know what, man, this is someone that really desires this. But if your actions are on and off, wishy-washy, then you don't really want this, man. You don't. And you can say whatever you want to say. You can talk until the cows come home. But your actions prove how serious you are about what you're doing. You know, I... A few years ago, I was working for this company. It was an office job. And I noticed that as soon as I left the office job and I went home, I relaxed for an hour, and then two, and then three. And the rest of the day was gone, just like that. And then the, same, the next day, the same thing happened again. Oh, I'm tired. That's what I was telling myself. I'm tired. I just want to relax. And fair enough. Being tired is valid. In a long day, speaking to a lot of people on the phone, valid. But I was doing it for an hour, two, three. The whole day would go. And that kept on repeating until one day I realized, man, if I continue down this path, I won't ever achieve shit. It's the law of diminishing intent. I had these great ideas that I wanted to start working on, but they were stored in a filing cabinet, which over time gathered dust. And it was only when I opened the damn storage cabinet And I got the ideas out and blew the dust off them and said to myself, right, this is it. No longer am I going to sit there complacent when it comes to my own success on the sidelines. Strategizing, debating, analyzing. It's time for action. Enough's enough. What the fuck am I strategizing for? Take the damn, pull the damn trigger, man. Do something. I was fed up with myself. I really was. How can I be given a company that pays me 1800 2000 a month, my best eight hours? And then when it comes to my own dreams, the input isn't there. That's tragic. That's tragic. And look, sometimes a job, you know, a, a good working environment can really help you excel as an entrepreneur. If you're in a good company that pays you a good amount of money, And of course, good is always subjective. But, you know, if you're on a decent salary when it comes to the area that you live in, 
when it comes to the country that you're in, that can help you become a better entrepreneur. I've always said this, your job will fund your dreams. It will. The money that you make from your nine to five, if you put it wisely into what it is that you're doing outside of your nine to five, that can start yielding great results for you. And eventually, when the side hustle significantly exceeds what you make from your nine to five, well, then you can have that conversation about, okay, maybe it's time for me to leave. But a job will help you. Don't look at it from a negative point of view. Now, if you're in the negative environment where the management is disrespectful and chaotic, well, then maybe you can start thinking about finding a different company. I'm not one of those guys that will just tell you, oh, leave your job because, you know, jobs offer broke people and things like that. No, no, no. That's derogatory. And quite frankly, not everybody is cut out to be an entrepreneur. But everybody definitely has more in them. They can give more. And a lot of people disqualify themselves before even beginning. So if you don't think you could be a good entrepreneur, well, give it a go. Find out for yourself. So I'm really directing this video at those of you who have these enormous goals that you want to accomplish. Be wary of how you're using your time after your nine to five. How are you using this time? Because it will make or break your future success. Jim Rohn says, in 10 years, you will surely arrive. The question is where? You will arrive somewhere in 10 years. Where though? And I've said this before in previous videos, time will either promote you or expose you. Either you will reap the rewards of your labor after many, many years, or you will be exposed for your lack of effort. I don't want to look back five, 10 years from now and resent myself. That's a painful conversation to have with yourself in five or 10 years if you haven't done the work. Why didn't you? You could have, you should have, but you didn't. So if there's something that you know you should be doing, pull the trigger on it. And remember, that company that you're working so hard for could easily replace you. Whereas when it's your own baby, when it's your own project, it's a whole different story. You work harder, you stay up later because it's your thing. You're not just a number, it's your baby. You created this, whether it's art that you're selling or clothing or whatever, YouTube, when it's your own baby, you take it more seriously. Okay? So work hard in your job, put in a solid shift. But then as soon as you leave, don't just piss the rest of the day down the drain. Treat the time that you have sacredly. Treat your work sacredly. This is my work, my reputation's on the line here. I cannot be a casual performer. I need to go all in. My future self depends on this. The future of my family, my children depends on what I do today. There's a sense of responsibility and honor associated to it. I need to perform to the best of my ability. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like, comment, let me know what you think down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. See you in the next one.